Really though, why do my teeth get stained? I don't even drink coffee. Hi everyone, my name is Whitney and I'm a dental hygienist here to talk about tooth staining and all the reasons your teeth might be stained. It's not always because you're a coffee drinker. There are two types of tooth staining, intrinsic and extrinsic. Intrinsic stain is tooth discoloration that is inside of your tooth anatomy. It's not something that your hygienist or dentist would polish off. Intrinsic stain is more difficult to get rid of than extrinsic stain, which is tooth staining on the outermost surface of your enamel. This stain can be scaled and polished off at your dental cleanings. If you're someone who tends to get lots of extrinsic stain, you would definitely notice a difference in your smile before and after your teeth cleanings at the dentist. Now, where do all these different types of stains come from? Let's start with intrinsic. One of the most common reasons someone has intrinsic staining on a tooth is because of tooth trauma. If you had an injury to your mouth at any point in your life, such as getting hit in the face, being in a car accident, etc., you might not see the side effects of that until years later. Suddenly one tooth seems to start turning brown, gray, or blue compared to the other teeth around it. To treat this, you'd have to see your dentist and consider maybe a root canal and internal bleaching through your root canal and sometimes even a crown. Another type of intrinsic stain is from aging. Mm, no one likes to hear this. As we get older, all of our teeth sometimes start to look darker and more yellow than they did when we were younger, which is completely normal and natural. It doesn't mean there's anything wrong, but for a lot of people, it can cause some self-consciousness. So to treat this, the best thing to do is to whiten your teeth. I'll link my teeth whitening video in the description if you're interested in learning more about your options. However, if it's major discoloration, you may want to talk with your dentist about restoration options such as veneers. Another type of intrinsic stain could be from too much or too little fluoride. During tooth development, so when you were young and your teeth were still forming, having too much or too little fluoride can cause white and or brown stains across your tooth surfaces. To prevent this, fluoride regulation is extremely important. That's why us dental professionals always recommend drinking municipal water with fluoride in it since it's regulated. If this is a concern of yours, talk with your dentist about different fluoride prescription options to use as a supplement. And now let's talk about the staining that can start as extra intrinsic stain, but it can actually turn into intrinsic stain. The most popular one is from tobacco, smoking, and vaping. Anytime you put these dark products in your mouth and inhale them over and over, it can cause the stain particles to seep deep into the tiny pores, tubules on your teeth. So oftentimes they can be polished off, but over time, if they soak in too deep, then it's not as straightforward. To treat this, you can get cleanings more often at the dentist to remove the external stains. You can also whiten your teeth, which may help temporarily. However, the health and the best thing to do is to quit so the stain particles won't continue to soak deep into your teeth. I do have a video all about smoking and teeth, which I'll link in the description box below as well. Next up, vitamin deficiencies. This is another one that can cause both internal and external staining, just like fluoride. It can happen because you have too much or too little of certain vitamins. This isn't always the most common cause of staining, but I've noticed it is sometimes the answer when someone is trying to figure out why their teeth are randomly stained all of a sudden and they've ruled out everything else. And then we ask, did you just start taking new vitamins or supplements and then we know. Same thing with medications. Some may only cause external discoloration, those of which can easily be polished off during your dental cleaning. However, there are others that we know for a fact will permanently discolor your tooth enamel if taken by certain people. For example, the antibiotic tetracycline is no longer prescribed for kids or pregnant people when tooth development is happening because it can cause permanent staining. All right, enough about that. Let's finish up by talking about extrinsic stains, the ones that can easily be polished off at your dental cleanings. Extrinsic stains can be caused from poor dental hygiene. Whenever we don't brush or floss as well as we should, it allows plaque to sit on our teeth for too long and that buildup tends to stain quickly. To prevent this, of course, make sure you are properly brushing for at least two minutes twice a day, especially along the gum line where plaque is the heaviest. And also don't forget about flossing, cleaning the areas between your teeth where the toothbrush doesn't reach. Another cause of extrinsic staining can be from mouthwash. Certain mouthwashes, such as chlorhexidine, which is a prescription mouth rinse, can cause staining if overused. There's also a few over-the-counter mouthwashes that can cause staining for certain people as well. Seems so wild, but it is a thing. And I do have a video all about this as well, which I'll of course link in the description box if you're interested. And lastly, the one we've all heard of, food and drinks. Those popular foods and drinks. Of course, we all think of coffee, red wine, and tea. But sometimes we forget about how pasta sauce and blueberries are also common offenders. 
Anything that would stain a white t-shirt has the potential to stain your teeth, especially if you eat or drink it fairly frequently. So to prevent this, less frequent exposures is recommended and rinsing your mouth out regularly with water, that's key. If possible, also consider drinking dark liquids through a straw so that the liquid doesn't coat the front of your teeth. Again, routine dental cleanings and professional whitening treatments are generally the best way to erase any stains that have already formed. And before we go, I wanna make sure that you don't assume what you are seeing on your teeth is stain. When you see a dark spot on your tooth, it could be a cavity or something else. There's lots of reasons you might see brown on your teeth. So just wanna make sure you know that. It's always recommended to visit your dental office routinely and confirm the health of your teeth and make sure it is in fact stain. And until then, of course, I do have a video all about brown spots, which I'll also link. I hope this video helped you. Please like and subscribe and turn on your notifications if it did. And until next time, I'll see you on Instagram at Teeth Talk Girl. Peace, love, and teeth. Thank you.